This is uh, my how-to video on Risk Gunstorm. Uh, a number of years ago I did a video that just showed pictures of us playing the game and I set it to music and it was just for my friends. And I just threw it on YouTube but um, I've had a number of comments from people on it about 8,000 views, not sure why, <laughs> that wanted to know how to play this game. So now I've decided show you how to play Risk Godstorm. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. This is the Risk Godstorm board. Here we got, uh, we got Africa, Asia Minor, Europa, Hyrcania, as they call it, and Germania off to the left here. We even get Atlantis, which is kind of nice. And, um, you know, this is very similar to the original Risk game, though it does add a two more levels, I guess you could call it, um, of gods and the underworld. Yes. And, um, and in this game, unlike the original Risk game, um, you only have about five turns to complete... Uh, the game itself. So uh, in this case, they call it epochs. Each turn is an epoch, or epoch. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. And um, basically, you go through a certain number of um, steps for each person. There's a five-player game here, and each person goes through their steps, and then the next person goes, and so forth and so on. And then that's one turn, and then you um, go down to turn two. And do it all over again. Um, so that's kind of the big difference from uh, this game and the original Risk game, which can go on and on and on. Uh, also, another big difference is the underworld. Here, um, any casualties suffered on the main uh, map uh, get sent to the respective player's heaven, as they call it. Um, and then from there, they depart from their heaven into the underworld to claim certain relics that will give you victory points and certain abilities to um, come back onto the main map with your forces. And of course the, the great part of this game um, is basically the gods. Here you have a pantheon of gods, you have four of them, and uh, you use certain faith tokens to summon your gods to the map and from there you battle to take over the map take over the world and um, you can fight other gods and of course you use the gods to fight the armies but the gods never go to the underworld if they get eliminated off the map they go back to that little pantheon card where they sit upon 